Hi, hi, hello, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. <clears throat> How was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, Mino, good trip. Well, nice. Let's be, I'm going to, to check one minute to start calling the attendance. Nice that you had a good day, right? It's Thursday, Friday tomorrow. Hi, hi. Okay, we are nine. I'm going to call you. Please tell me present. <clears throat> Amanda Yesenia. Amanda Yesenia. Carlos Alfredo. Cecilia del Carmen. Present teacher. César Antonio. César. Claudia Ivón, no here. Present teacher. Claudia. Yes. Claudia, nice. Jacob Alberto. No. Jonathan Asdrubal. Present. Nice. Jose David. Jose David. No. Juan Antonio. Present. Juan Carlos. Karen Leticia. Present teacher. Nice, Karen. Carla Jamlet. Present teacher. Catherine Bridget. Catherine. No, Catherine. Connie. Connie, Connie. Marco Rubén. Present. Minor. In traffic, right? Okay. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Yes. Silvia Estela. Silvia. Presente, teacher. Sí. Silvia Inés. Presente, teacher. Tatiana Beatriz. Tatiana, no. Eh, Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz. No. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine, very good. A ver, anybody connected after I call you? Anybody? No. Vaya, voy a llamar los que no me dijeron present al principio. Amanda. Carlos Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. César Antonio. César. José David. Catherine Bridget. Tatiana. Ah, 
Okay. Nice, nice. Well, today, I'm ready to share the screen, right? Remember yesterday we were talking about hotels and we were mentioning, aha, I'm keeping the names of the people who still own the conversation, right? So we're going to listen to you in a couple of minutes, right? Paste the list so I remember who we are missing. Okay. Well, so we are going to wait a little bit for everybody to be here and then we will listen to the conversations that I miss. Mm -hmm. Wow. February 16th today, and uh, the topic we're going to be covering is how to use be going to. If you remember in the conversation yesterday, uh, we had some uh, sentences, right? Where people were ordering, well, we're trying to register in the hotel, book a hotel, book a, book a room in a hotel. And they were using going to. Okay, so that's the structure we're using, right? Now check the objective. The class will be able to be going to use be going to to talk about future travel plans and hotel reservations. And that's what we are we were going, we were talking about just now. Here have a couple of questions for you. Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? What do you prefer? Modern hotels or antique hotels when you travel? Modern hotel. A modern hotel. Okay. For me, antiquity. Antique is better for me. Okay. Do you usually give me a second? Exactly. Well, and the second question is, do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Hmm? Okay. Ah. Now. We have check. So tell me, you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Someone else does for me. Okay. Who does it for you? Uh, my boss. Mm -hmm. And the... the uh, Your boss does the reservation. Yes, the coordinate, coordinator mm -hmm. to a sport. Okay. In a, yeah. Okay, okay. What about the others? Who does the reservations? I do. You do the reservation. Okay. Yes, do you? Huh. Nice, nice. Now. Look at this picture. This will be like an antique hotel, and this will be, no, this is the modern, right? Modern hotel and the antique hotel. What differences can you see between a modern hotel and an antique hotel? 
the structure, the colors, mm -hmm. materials. The material they use, yes. What else? What else, what else? <clears throat> Which is cheaper? Which is cheaper? Uh -huh. For me, is the uh, modern. The modern is cheaper than the antique. In this case, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. For me, the antique. It's cheaper. Yeah. Probably it will depend on the area, right? Where you find that hotel. The area will affect a lot. Now, so in the previous one, you had a, an antique hotel. Now here you have a modern hotel. Now, how do the facilities or amenities change? Do we have the same amenities in an antique hotel than in a modern hotel? Do we have, do you remember the amenities, the ones that we were mentioning yesterday? Are the amenities similar or different? Mm -hmm. Some are similar, but there are many different between. Mm -hmm. Now with the modern hotels, everything is trying to be more comfortable, right? Yeah. So trying to make people feel well. Now, look at this. These are some hotel services and anti uh, amenities. Uh, what you're going to do here is look at the pictures and match. Match the pictures to the work. So you have shuttle service, business center, single room, bridge in the room, wake up call, save, Wi-Fi, internet, laundry service. Okay, so match the pictures to the words. I'm going to give you a minute for you to do it and then we check. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Ready. What is number one? Mm -hmm. Wake up. Oh, wake up. Yes. Wake up. That's wake up. Okay. What about number two? Laundry service. Laundry service. service. Yes, number two. Number three? Friday in the room. Bridge in the room. Bridge in the room, yes. And number four, business center. Business center. Center. Sorry, business center. Mm -hmm. That's how they call the place where you can go. Remember, Jessica, I was telling you that in the hotels, in some hotels, it is very expensive to get Wi Fi, right? You can have your own Wi Fi. 
and they charge you about ten dollars an hour. But they have a business center, and the business center in the hotel is the place where you can go and make use of the computer. So you can have a free hour of computer. Well, we can say free because uh, you don't have to pay extra, right? But uh, it is already paid when you pay the hotel. So if you use it good, if you don't use it, that's okay. But there uh, people can go use the computer for about an hour, an hour, because there are other people that want to use it, right? And it is open, I guess it's open all day and night, right? So that's optional. Now, um, what about number five? Safe. 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 Yes. Safe. Yes, yes, that's uh, safe. Number six. Single room. Single room. Single room. Single room. Yeah. Single room. Number seven. Shoot Church the service. service. Shuttle, right? Shuttle service. Shuttle service. service. If you see the picture, yeah, Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Yeah. 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 If you see the, the picture, the shuttle. It's not, a, it's not a normal taxi, right? Like the ones we have here in El Salvador. So that shuttle, it's like a it's like a van, right? So it takes more than one person from the airport to the hotel where they are staying. So uh, people can share the the, the shuttle. But of course, each person will pay their own fee, right? But they, you can make or you can share the total with other people, right? It, because it's very big and you can keep all your, your luggage and they go then from one hotel to the other one, wherever. Uh, so they leave first one person and then they go to the other hotel to leave the other persons from there, right? That's a total service. And what about the last one? The last one is? Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi internet, nice. Wi-Fi internet. Okay, repeat, total service, total. Total service. Total service. Total service. Business center. Business center. Business center. Single room. Single room. Single room. Single room. Single room. Fridge in the room. Fridge in the room. Wake up home. Wake up home. Safe. 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 Here I have the people who are missing, right? Um, Amanda, Cecilia, and Antonio. And then we will listen to Carlos, Alfredo, and Silvia. Well, oh, Claudia, Ivonne, Karen, and then Carlos, Alfredo, and Silvia. That's it. Ready. First, we're going to listen to you with the conversation that you all from yesterday, and then you will continue. Go ahead. That is Amanda, Cecilia, and Juan Antonio. Go ahead. Amanda, Cecilia, Juan Antonio. 
Ah. Este, está Amanda. Ah. <risa> Amanda. Ni modo, ya va a caer el reclamo. Ajá. Amanda. Hello. Soy Sandy. It's your turn. Teacher, pero quiero ver lo de la conversación de ayer. Pero... Exacto. Juan le tomó captura. No. <risa> que la perdimos. No, Agarrándole. ¿Cómo así? ¿Y dónde la escribieron? No, Ay, pero la tenía en la compu. Ajá, pero sí. creo que usted no sacó antes y se nos borró. Déjamela. Yo le dije ayer, mañana le estoy. Por ahí la tienen que poner. Vamos a volver a hacer pase, pase a otro grupo. <risa> Vamos a ver. The next group is Claudia, Ivonne y Karen. Claudia. Ok. Eh, yo soy yo, Karen. ¿Está por ahí Karen? Karen, Karen, sí, por ahí está Karen. Hola. La conversación que está acá, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Dónde está Karen? Me abandonó. Karen, hello. Karen, Karen. Se durmió, Karen. <ríe> Karen, Karen. Ah, Ahí estaba. Ahí está conectada, pero... O tiene el micrófono para... Karen, Karen, hello. Karen. Hello. Maybe, maybe she's driving. Sí, no. Karen, Karen, hello, Karen. No la veo yo. Sí, está. Karen, hello. Karen, Karen. Ok, vamos I'm here, a ver. Sorry. Ajá, ¿dónde andaba? Es que estoy atendiendo a mi mami, sí, el mal de la pierna. Ah, uh -huh. nosotros sorry. Que se nos perdió, Karen. Vale. No, okay. eh, la, la conversación, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ok, sorry. ¿Empiezo yo, Karen, o tú? Dale, no empieza. Ok. Good morning, Maria Hotel. How can I help you? I need a reservation for 10 people in a double room on March 2nd for a, con a convention. Sure. May I have your name, please? Yes, I'm Juan Antonio Alvarado. Thank you, Mr. Alvarado. How long are you stay? We are going to stay two days. Are you you need business center? Yes, please. Are you need computer, projector, or another equipment? Yes, only a projector. Also, we need coffee and tea in the business center, please. Okay, you your reservation is complete. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. And my last group. Thank you, thank you. My last group is, let me see. Um, Carlos Alfredo and C. James. Um, sí, lo hicimos, teacher, pero por separado. O sea, no hicimos un en común. Cada quien construyó un, una conversación y no la ah. logramos compartir. Vaya, ok. Creo que pudiéramos Así. hacer el ejercicio, pero no no este como los otros compañeros sino que quizás uno vaya. solo y ah vaya le dan mi una entonces quién lee who wants to be the volunteer yo no puedo leer vaya coge okay. y después yo teacher si gusta Ok, claro claro pues okay. <coughs> Eh, lo hice un poco parecido al ejercicio que teníamos, ¿verdad? Solo que lo construí con, en este caso, los nombres es mi persona y Juan Carlos, ¿verdad? Entonces, Silvia. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling Hotel Comfort Inn. This is Silvia López Home Came. I help you. En este caso, Juan Carlos decía, hello, I need to make two reservations sure. Sure, could you give me the name or the person who made the reservation? In this este case, for Juan Carlos. Of course, the name Juan Carlos Reyes, Minister of the Ed Education. Uh, Silvia, thank you, Mr. Reyes. When are you going to arrive, Juan Carlos? I will arrive on February 20, living on February uh, 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 27. Uh, what service will you need from the other? Uh, Juan Carlos, I need the simple routes, sure service, Wi Fi, internet, laundry, restaurant. Silvia. Thank you. We are uh, waiting for you. Okay, great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, Carlos Alfredo, right? Okay. Yo lo hice con, con, mi, eh, con, otro, con otro nombre, por ejemplo, Jorge y Carlos, mi persona. Okay. Dice, Jorge, thank you. You for calling the Palmera Hotel. How can I help, help you? Carlos Reyes. Yes, I need to make a reservation. Jorge. Oh, Jorge, can you hand me your full night, please? Carlos. Oh, Jorge, I am Carlos Reyes. Jorge, thank you, you Mr. Reyes. We, uh, when will you arrive? Arrive. Arise. Okay. Carlos Reyes. I will arise on uh, Sunday the 10th. Uh, Jorge, how low will uh, have a witch house? Carlos, I am going to study uh, until uh, Tuesday. Jorge, you are going to make uh, the reservation. Carlos. Or a double room, please. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. Now we are done. And we're ready to to pass to the next uh, part, to the next step. Okay. Look at this conversation. Remember, we're talking about hotel reservations. So we continue with the topic, right? But now we are going to be paying more attention to the structure. We're going to. Teacher. Hola. Ya estamos listos. <laughs> are you ready? Okay, go ahead. Vaya, vamos. Ahorita. Creo que ahí está Juan todavía. Vamos a ver. 
Sí, aquí Hola. estoy. Aquí estoy. Ok. Vaya, que voy a empezar oh, bueno. yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno. Hello, thanks you for calling Hola. the Intercontinental Star Hotel. Yeah, uh, bueno, this then, how can I help Hello. you? Hello, I need a reservation. La misma, sure. volví a tomar, vamos. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Juan Alvarado. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Alvarado. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Tuesday, 33. Okay, uh, how long are you going to stay with you, uh, Mr. Alvarado? I am going to stay <laughs> until Friday. Are you going to make uh, the reservation for a singular or double room? A singular room, please. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, look at the conversation. We have Jane and Gerardo, right? Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, check. We are going to be using going to. That's the structure to be used, right? As you can see in the conversation. I'm going to stay. Question. Are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday. When are you going to arrive? How long are you going to stay with us? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room. So check. When we... Uh, make a, a future question or a future sentence in this case. If we can use going to, we use going to when we are very, very sure. And of course, if you are making a hotel reservation it's because you are sure that you want to make that reservation. That's why we don't say, when will you arrive? We say, when are you going to arrive? Okay. I'm going to arrive, and I say I'm going because I'm very sure that I'm going to do it, right? I'm going to stay until Monday. Probably things will change, but I'm sure what I want, that I want to be there, or I want to stay until Monday, okay? Now, check. What we are going to do right now here is you're going to read the conversation again with your partner, and then you're going to complete this form using information from the conversation. Pay attention to the agent, the guest, the check-in, when is the check-out. If the person is, is booking a single room or a double room, those are the things that you're going to pay attention to. Okay, I'm going to send you to the room. Let's see, we are going to make a pairs. Well, I'm going to make groups just in case somebody cannot get in. So please play the roles with your different partners, right? Practicing the conversation. There you go. Join, please, try to join. Join, join. There you go.
Okay, okay, try to join, try to join. No me quiere hoy. Oh, Sandra. Vaya, Pero ayer no tuve problemas. Sí, sí, subí que bien galán. Vaya, voy a probar. Voy a probar moviéndola a otro room. Hoy. Okay. Okay. A ver, cheque, a ver si, si le aparece. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Miss. Ahí la mando, cheque con number two, a ver si la deja unirse. Si no se queda aquí con Sandra. Ay, Amanda sí se pudo ir, Sandra. Vamos a ver qué pasó. Y no sé si Catherine Bridget está por allí. No sé si lo voy a ir, Catherine. Y la voy a volver a mover, cheque si le aparece. Hello, teacher. Ay. Ya, ya la necesitamos. Ajá, tell me. Tell me, tell me. What do you need? Ok, teacher. Eh, teacher, perdón, es que no le entendí muy bien lo que vamos a hacer. Suba. Ahorita, ahorita. Ay, se me fui, está muy arriba, ¿verdad? Uy, sí. Ay, este, ajá. Más allá. Eso ya lo hicimos ayer. Baje, baje. No baje, sube, sí. Page 41. <ríe> Bye. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí, ahí está. Más arriba. The conversation. Ajá, la conversación. Sí. Practice the conversation and after you practice, you complete the charting activity three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Catherine, voy a ser yo, Jane, y usted, Gerardo. Permítame. La conversación era, ¿verdad? Ajá, la logra ver. Estoy compartiendo pantalla. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno. ¿Empiezo? Sí. Ok. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is how can I help you? Hello, I uh, need to make a reservation. Uh, sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am. Eh, ahí sería mi nombre, ¿verdad? Catherine Galdame. Sí. Ok. Um, pero bueno. ¿Dónde voy? ¿Dónde voy? ¿Dónde voy? ¿Dónde voy? <ríe> ah, thank you. Eh, thank you, eh, Miss eh, Galdame. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday. 40. Uh, how long are you going to stay with with use uh, Miss Caldames? I am going to stay with your Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, cambiamos. Ahora yo empiezo. Mm -hmm. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This gem, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Uh, of course, I am Cecilia Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Where are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday at 14. 14. How long are you going 
to say why use Mr. Hernández, me dijo. Yes. Okay. I going to stay until Monday. Are you I'm going to make the reservation for a singlet or double wrong? Uh, I sing the room, please. Right, vamos a hacer la actividad tres, ¿verdad, Ticha? Yeah. Me voy, me, me quedo solita. Hola. Vamos a ver. Okay, okay. Check, check, check. 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 ¿Quién va a ser el 14? Eh... 14, ¿cuánto era? 14, ¿cuánto era? Era 14 de... Ajá, ah, solo... solo... ah, viernes, solo viernes, 14. Ah, viernes, El check-out va a ser la misma que, do... que el mister Check-out. Decía que iba a ser igual que el, el mister Podemos subir un poco la pantalla. Ahí decía, ve. Ahí decía, check out. Oh, y está oh, Mr. Gómez. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gómez? With us. Teacher, ahí sería igual que, que el señor Gómez, ¿verdad? No, eh, uh -huh. está hablando con Mr. Gómez. O sea, que Gerardo E. Gómez. Uh, Le pregunta, ¿cuánto va a estar con nosotros, Mr. Gómez? Ah, ya. Yeah. Ay, no. tú estás y ahí, ¿qué onda dice? Until Monday. Until Monday, hasta el lunes. Hasta el lunes, ah, el día estar sí. hasta el lunes, Luis. A saber qué día es, pero va a estar hasta el lunes. Probablemente sea viernes. Hasta el otro año. <risa> <risa> sí. Mm, um, ajá, y de ahí. Single ¿sí? room o double room. Mm -hmm. Ahí quiere, no, quiere single... single room. No, ahí dice, no, dice, are you going to make the reservation for a single room or double room? A single room, dice. Entonces sería la uno. Ajá. Ajá, ajá single room. Ajá, ajá. A single room or a double. Uh -huh. No, it's a single room. Uh -huh. Y el otro sería, you see, ah, wall lights. Y esto lo vamos a hacer también, teacher. Sí. La cuatro. No, number four, no. Solo, Solo three, ¿verdad? Three, sí, sí. Ah, vaya. Ya me vio otro. No, man, ¿Y ah, ya eso? vamos a, ya vamos a hablar de los bien. polite requests. Uh -huh. okay. Arriba está el otro, te va a darle arriba. Let's go. Olina. I'm going to stay on till Monday. <laughs> I want to stay. Okay. Finish. <laughs> Finish. Okay. Vaya. Check. <laughs> check in, check in. Vi que Carlos se, se quedó fuera, pero dije, ahí lo voy a dejar que se quede con Santa. Sí, sí, dicho que tuve problemas con internet y como también no tuve conversación, por eso me, también tuve problemas con internet, ¿no? todo. Vaya, entonces aprovechando. Sí, me quedé con Sandra porque Ajá. Sandra estaba sola. Sí, no, sí, yo lo vi, yo lo vi, pero que no, ahí que quede mejor con Sandra, que, está que no, hoy no pudo Sandra quedarse y cuando vimos ya se nos había ido todo el mundo. <risa> para el otro grupo voy a dejarla aquí a Sandra y le voy a dejar a alguien para que no esté solita hoy, vaya no es... a ver, let's see let's see, let's see we have eh, ha, ha. we have the chart what is the name of the agent Jen. Jen. Yes. Jen. 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 Jen.
Ya han probado, escribí con el mouse. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. that's Gerardo Gomez. And checking. When is checking? Friday, Friday 14. 14. 14. We do not know the month, right? We have no idea. Okay, so my Friday 14, but we don't know the month. Okay. Cuando ponemos la, la fecha en escrito, si usted quiere, le pone esto. Si no, it's optional. Pero cuando dice la fecha, si tiene que decir Friday, 14. So, 14. Ahí sí no puede decir solo 14. Hoy. A ver, when is check out? Monday. 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 What is the date Monday? Seventeen. Seventeen. Remember the days of the week in English go with capital letter. In Spanish, no. Yo cometo ese error ortográfico en español. Y lo pongo en capital letter porque sin English es en capital letter en español, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Para en English, yes. Remember, Friday. Days of the week y month of the year. In English, go with capital letter. Oye, en Spanish. En mm -hmm. Spanish. Mm -hmm. A ver, um, ¿is Mr. Gómez ordering o booking a single room or a double room? Single. 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 Ah, mouse, mouse. It's a single. <clears throat> nice. Remember the services? The rental service, ironing service, turn down service, gathering service, laundry, and construction service that we were mentioning yesterday, right? Now, when you are in a hotel, imagine you are the receptionist. You're going to be polite. Then you say, would you like, would you like a single room or a double room? Yes, if it's a question. Would you like a single room or a double room? See? Then you say, I would like, I would like to make a reservation. I would like to reserve a single room. I would like, no I want. Es lo mismo significado, pero I want a room. But when you say I would like, it's polite. Yes. You can also say I need, I need to make a reservation. I want to make a reservation. Quiere ser amable? Use this. El need suena como muy urgente, okay? yo necesito. But if you say, I would like, it sounds more polite. Y este definitivamente no polite, right? So, as I said, the meaning is the same, but the, the use of the connotation, each of them give is totally, totally different. Yeah. Okay. Any question here? No question. Uh, mm -hmm. No, verdad. Sí. No. Es que cuando no me responden es que tienen questions. No question. Sure. Yes. Yes. Si me ven así que hablo poco es que me duele la boca. Mira, a mi edad saliéndome la cordal. Ya no queremos hablar. Ahí está, nunca salió. Nunca salió, pasaron los años, pasaron los años, otros años. Y hoy me duele todo esto aquí y hasta la... Me oyen ronca. Me oyen que estoy ronca, es por eso. Es lo mismo, me tiene inflamadita aquí. 
y la garganta y me duele. Así. Y como así ando hablando, entonces, marrón, he comido son poco de cena. <laughs> Bye. Let's see. Talking about the future. Going to. When do we use going to? When do we use going to? To talk about what tense? Hmm? You can tell me. When do I use going to? Hola. For the future. For the future, exactly. So see the expressions that we will need, right? Tomorrow, tonight. Pero si usted está hablando antes de ahorita. Ya ahorita, tonight, ya no es future, ya es present. ¿Verdad? But if you are talking early in the morning or in the afternoon, tonight is future. Right? Uh, next week, next month, next year, next Saturday. Cualquier cosa con next is future. In a few hours, in a few days, by next week, by next month. Mm -hmm. These are some expressions that we can use for future. Future. Teacher, teacher, I don't understand the next week. Está diciendo que se usa next, eh, luego, ¿verdad? La próxima, próxima. Ah, va. In, 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 right? in a few days. Okay. Uh -huh. in, a, in unos días. Ah, imagine, imagine you see que, uh, a friend, right? And, and she tells you, you know what? I'm going to get married in a few days. No, hoy, no mañana, but very near, right? In a few days. In a few hours. We will finish class in a few hours. Yes. We will go to bed in a few hours. See? No present yet in the future, right? <coughs> now, so these are some expressions that we may use when talking about a, a future. You can also say tomorrow or Le voy a poner otra acá, the day after tomorrow. ¿Qué significa the day after tomorrow? ¿Quién me dice? Pasado mañana. Exactly. The day after tomorrow. So if you say, well... The day after tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow is Friday, but the day after tomorrow is Saturday. Pasado mañana. ¿Sí? Y, a, y anteayer, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá. Solo por curiosidad. No the, the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, exactly. So we're going the, on the same logic, right? So here, the day after tomorrow. Pasado mañana. Okay, those are the expressions, right? Those are the expressions that we will use with future. Remember right now, we're talking about going to. So check, what is the structure? Uh, to use going to in a sentence, in an affirmative sentence. First, we need a subject. We need the verb to be, am, is, or are, depending on the subject I'm using. And then I'm going to use going to. And the other verb, remember going to, no solo going, ¿verdad? sino que going to, that's the structure, going to. And the following verb should be in infinity without to because the to is coming from the going. So you say, I am going to travel next week. I, subject, in, subject, I, verb to be, am, 
porque estoy usando I, voy a usar I. Then I need to use going to. I'm going to. I'm going to, because that's the structure, right? Going to. I'm going to, then I need a verb in infinity or in base form, as you want to call it. Fin conjugar. Ya vamos a ver otros ejemplos, right? I'm going to travel. I'm going to travel. ¿Se acuerdan de las expresiones de tiempo que dijimos antes? Bueno, aquí podemos usarlos, right? I'm going to travel next. I'm going to travel next week. Remember what we said about going to. Going to is a structure that I'm going to use for the future that I'm very sure. I'm very sure of what I'm saying. So it's like a, like a 99% of sure that I'm going to do the activity that I'm saying I'm going to do, okay? Now check the examples. I'm going to sing. Teacher. Hola. Puede pasar la pantalla anterior, please. Sure. Estoy copiando algo. Thanks, teacher. Ahorita solo termino. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, okay. I check the example. I'm going to sing at the party. Okay. Subject, or to be, el, el going to, mi verbo en base form, or infinity, como el quiera llamar. Y hmm, puedo ponerle un expression of time de la que vimos antes, o un complement. Sí. I'm going to sing at the party. And if we are going to use she, she is, right? She is, he is, it is. Cuando hablamos del clima, usamos it. Recuerde que en inglés no podemos hacer una oración sin subject, right? We need a subject of the sentence. So we use it with it. It is going to rain tomorrow. I'm very sure, right? I'm going, oh, it's going to rain today. It's going to be cold. I remember my mom always told us, look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. They are very dark. But the, but the clouds are moving very fast. That means it is going to be windy tonight. Or it is going to be very cold. Right? And when you saw at one side, they say, hmm, look at the clouds, they are very dark, but they come from this side. So the rain comes from here. So it is going to rain. Then when we use, like in this case, it's a prediction about the future, we do it when we can see something, right? We're basing in evidence. So you say, hmm, it's going to rain. ¿Por qué digo que va a llover? No como prediction normal usando will. That because of the evidence that I see. Because it's very dark. Because of whatever. Okay? So, she's going to sing at the party. She's going to sing. It is, he's going to sing. So it doesn't matter if I use I, I use am, um, she is, he is, and it is. That if I'm going to use you, we, or they, I'm going to use I. So you say you are going to sing at the party. We are going to sing at the party. They are going to sing at the party. Right? Question here? No question. 
Okay. But that was affirmative. Now let's make a sentences in negatives, right? Uh, we have exactly the same structure with the difference that now I'm going to include not. So you say, mm, I'm not going to sing a day by. You can use contraction or not, depending on the situation. I'm not going to sing at the party. She's not going to sing at the party. You are not going to sing at the party. Okay, contraction or not. Remember uh, that we use contraction if, but if we want, well, in speaking usually, no, in written, but if you want to make emphasis on what you're saying in this case, in the not, you don't use contraction. She isn't going to sing at the party. Oh, no pasa nada, no hay gran emphasis. But if you say she's not going to sing in the party, ¿qué pasó? Why not? Right? Why isn't she going to sing in the party? Mm -hmm. So if we use the contraction, Normal structure. If we use the long form, no contraction, I'm making more emphasis in the negation. Okay. Question here. Teacher. Juan, question. Yo estaba haciendo la tarea 17. Entonces me aparecían unas oraciones, pero tenían, por ejemplo, tú. Y como hay que agregarles going to, es necesario ponerles to antes. Es que yo las hice, pero me salían malas. Bueno, eh, como antes, acá al verbo. Ajá, ponen, ya le voy a decir. Ponen entre paréntesis así como tu sin, ¿verdad? Ya ahorita le digo cómo, le, cómo me aparecía. Porque la estaba haciendo, pero no, ni una, ninguna me salió buena porque llevaba dos tú. Bueno, como usualmente cuando le ponen eh, la hora, el verbo sí, que van a usar, si lleva el to sí, al momento en que usted escribe la pregunta eh, o la oración, no puede usar dos tú. Entonces, Ajá. I'm going to, porque ya el going to ya lleva su tú, ¿verdad? I'm going ah. to sin. Ya solo le pone sin y este tú ya no. Ya no. Ajá, eso le iba a decir, es, esa era mi duda, porque si lleva I going to phone, entonces, pero como, por ejemplo, eh, he, vaya, he to phone, eh, his friend, entonces, pero como tenemos que agregarle el going to, his ya no le vamos a poner to, to phone. Ya no, ajá, only he is going to phone. Mm -hmm. ah. He is going to phone. Sí, ya no, porque ah. no puede llevar dos tú, ¿verdad? Solamente uno. Ah, entonces digamos que la oración sería, por ejemplo, un ejemplo es He going to phone his friend. He's going to call his friends, ¿ya? Yeah? He's going He to call his friends. Ah, to phone go, eh, Ajá, his friends. Aquí, aquí usted le puede cambiar. He's going to sing at the party. He's going Aquí puede cambiar el verbo, no importa, pero este verbo siempre va a ir así. Acá le podemos poner eh, the base form, si le es más fácil a ustedes de recuperar. Ok, eh, thanks. Eh, también le quería comentar algo. Fíjese que el día anterior con la cámara me está dando problemas y por eso la apago porque es okay. como todo cortado. Okay, so sorry. Bye, check. So, Cecilia, no question here? No? No, teacher. Bye, así se puede quedarse en la cámara. Ya vi que le está molestando, ¿verdad? 
desde de, de antier, sí. ya no. Desde antier, ajá, saber qué le pasó. Se puso en huelga. Vaya, vamos a subir. A ver, here, I'm going to send you to work in pairs, and you're going to make sentences like this ones. Or like this ones can be affirmative or negative, right? Example, I am going to work at the office. Yo solo le doy las muy palabras claves que son las que ustedes van a utilizar y ustedes le agregan todo lo que necesiten ocupar. Check the instructions. Exercise one, right? Going to. Write positive sentences in going to future. Positive. No questions in this case, right? Only positive sentences. Question? No, teacher. No, teacher. I les voy a poner después las negatives. Mm -hmm. Porque les tengo tres ejercicios por año. Entonces nos vamos a ir a los rooms. We're going to do this. We're going to come check. And then I'm going to see you again. With the other. Yeah. So, I'm going to share the sentences here. In the. Vamos. Hola, hola. Yo a compartir las la preguntas porque esa no está en el manual, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, no, la cosa es que fíjense que no había abierto el chat de WhatsApp. Okay. Y como no lo había abierto, venía cargando con todo. Pero ahí está, ya se los mandé. Chequen. Check, check. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí. Sí, teacher. Piense que quizá voy a reducir en uno de los grupos para dejar aquí a Sandra con, con un par de ustedes. Bye, estamos. Eh, I'm sending, I'm sending, eh, okay. Groups of three, there is only one group of four. And Sandra, eh, Minor, and Silvia Estela will stay with Sandra here. Okay. Hi, okay. Alex, go. John, join. Javier, Carlos Alfredo, ya está. Y Catherine Beatriz. Estaba 
Ah, es una laptop. Sí. Ajá, y eso ha de ser que como no las está abrir y cerrar, ha de tener algún falso. Ah, Por eso te da problemas la cámara. Sí, porque desde antier está con esa. Tiene pozo en huevo. Uy, no puedo, no puedo, quiero ver, control. No puedes compartirla. Uh -uh, no, no, no la puedo compartir. Pero ahí tenemos en WhatsApp las, la foto. Sí, ahí la pueden ver en el chat de WhatsApp si no lo logran compartir hoy. Sería no la primera. I'm, I'm, going, I'm, going to, I'm going to work at the office. Porque nadie la puede compartir. Yo estoy del teléfono ¿eh? que no me da. Ok, ah, pues veámosla desde el WhatsApp y escribámoslas en el cuaderno. Yo no me dejo compartirla y. Uh -huh. A eso le quiero entender bien, teacher. Hola, Pedro. Sería I go to work, ¿verdad? Tiene que ponerle el verbo to be. ¿Quieren esperar? Ahí te lo voy a dejar. I am going to work. I am. I am going to work at the office. Exacto. Con razón no me agarraban en las otras. I'm, I'm going to work. I am going to work. I am going to work. Uh, teacher, oh, yeah. es you, es you are, ¿verdad? You are going to work, yes. Uh, okay. Vaya, entonces ya you es... are going to dance a the office. La otra es, uh, I, no, es you are, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. you, are you, are. Going... you are going to dance salsa. Ajá, uh -huh, going to dan salsa. Sabes que ya lo estaba pronunciando sauce. Uh -huh. Se, como de salsa de tomate. Ajá, uh -huh, en inglés. <risa> eh, eh, se, se pronuncia igual el género de música y la comida. No, la música no se traduce. Uh -huh. Ah, ahí sería salsa, merengue. Salsa. Ah. Entonces, teacher, y el lead sería... Iris. Iris. Sí, Iris. Iris going, going to rain today. Iris going to rain today. Going to... They are going to ask a question. Today. Eh, la otra sería... They are, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. They are going to. They are going. They are going to ask. They are going to ask a question. Hola, Terry. Hola, mis niños. Hola, mis niños. Tiene la tarea, porque no me la agarra. Y he, teacher, he is. He is. He is going to stay at the hotel. Yes, he is a going to hotel. She is going to stay. Stay at at the hotel. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese hotel? Hotel. 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 Ok, quiero ver. Y la otra sería eh, We are, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. We, are, we, are, we are going to go. Going to speak. Going, going to speak. Perdón. We are going, going to. <laughs> to speak French, ¿verdad? La otra sería eh, I, I am.
Hello. Hello. La otra sería, we are going to speak French. La siguiente sería, I am going to... Yes, son candies. Candies yes. is the pronunciation teacher. Candies. Okay. Mm -hmm. La siguiente, she is going to try the software. She is going to try the software. The software. La siguiente es... They are, they going, are going to, to help, help at home. home. La última sería he is going to push the door. The door. He's going to push the door. Push, push the door. See you, Sandita. Thank you. Ah, well, chico, well, yo creo que hay un salida, teacher. <laughs> Minor, I, I write two sentences. Okay. Checking. <laughs> Okay. We are here. We're back. Yes. So let's Okay. Let's let's go to the sentences. Number one, I I am going to work at the office. Mm -hmm. Let me change. Mm -hmm. I am going to work. At the Teacher. Mm-hmm. One question. Eh, cuando yeah. eh, la oración comienza como my sister, eh, vamos a utilizar eh, como el verbo is. Eh, is. 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 Ok, thanks, teacher. In that case, es is. Porque su, su sister es como que, como que dijera chi. ¿Verdad? Por eso va a ser is. Ok, thanks, teacher. Welcome. What about here? You dance salsa. You? You are, you are, are going, going to, to dance salsa. Mm. You're going to dance salsa. Mm. Number three. Uh, it, it is, is going to rain today. I'm going, I'm ah. going to ah. rain today. You are going to, no, it's going to rain today. Nice. It is going to rain today. Number four. So yeah, they, they are, are 
going to ask a question. Ask a question. Uh -huh. They are going to ask a question. Ask a question. They are going to ask. They are going to ask a question. What about the next one? He is going to stay. Happy is going. Yes, going to stay. Ya la locura. He, he is going to stay going at the hotel, right? Always remember the capital letter and period. ¿Verdad? A ver, what about we? We, we are, are going, going to, to different. To to speak French. French. Okay, we are going to speak French. Next. I am going to give to to give some kind. To give some kind. I'm going to give some kinds. She, she is, is going to. Mm -hmm. She's going to try the software. Try the software. She's going to try the software. Yeah. Number four. They are going to. Uh -huh. They are going to help. Going to, to, going to help at home. Help at home. Mm -hmm. They are going at to help at home. home. And the last one. He is going to, he is going to push the door. He is going to push. He is push. ¿Qué significa push? Presionar. Yeah, push. Uh -huh. Presionar. Empujar. Por ejemplo, Teacher. se han fijado que dicen las puertas pull and push. Push es empujar y pull es alar. Tell me, Ceci. Eh, yo ya hice la tarea 17, pero Exacto. igual siempre me da error. Está poniendo capital letter and period. Sí, eh, vaya, está así va. Eh, he is going to phone his friend. He's going to go. He is going to phone his friend. Y me sale mala. Sí, es que algo está malo ahí. Tiche, lo que pasa es que en esa, en esa tarea solo hay que poner lo que hace falta en la oración, lo que está en la línea, no es toda la oración. Por ejemplo, en la primera solo sería is going to phone, nada más, teacher. Yes. Ah, is, is going to phone. Ajá, y con todo en, en, este, en minúscula. Ok, estén, ajá, porque le estaba escribiendo todito. No tiene que ser toda la oración. Sí, hay algunos que así están, ¿verdad? Que no tiene que ser toda la oración. Ok, thanks, Karen. 
Y nice. thanks, Claudia. Ok, vaya, vámonos. I'm going to send you to the next exercise. Remember, here all of them were affirmative. Right. Now, let's go to negatives. Um, remember, we continue working uh, with the future. Then you say, I sell my car. I'm going to sell my car. Right? He's going to help us. Again, I'm going to share the sentences with you and I'm going to send you to work and to make the sentences, okay? I'm gonna share the, the sentences there in the chat. Only negatives. I am not, not going to steal my car. In my car. I am not going to sell my car. My car. Okay. Uh, let's do it here then, and then I will send you for the other. I'm not going to sell my car. I'm not, right? And number two, he. He's not going to help. Uh -huh. Exactly, he's not going to help us. Number three. They are not they going are not. to study harder. They are not going to study harder. Number four. We are, they not, are not going, going to, to study harder. Uh, Number four. Or we, we are, not, we are not, not going to, going cook, to, cook, to cook, cook dinner tonight. Dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. Number five. I am not, I am going not... to celebrate my birthday this year. Uh -huh. I'm not going to celebrate my birthday. Number six, next. She cleaning her room. She is not going to clean in her room. She's not going to clean. Ahí le vamos a quitar el ING. She's not going to clean. She's not going to clean her room. Next. They. They are not, are not, they are not to going to move the house. They are not going to move house. Uh -huh. Next one. She is. She is. She's not, not going stay, to stay, going to stay, stay with, Amy. Oh, with Amy. Going to stay with Amy. She's not going to stay with Amy. And they? They are not, they are not going not to change their clothes. Not going to change their They are not going to change their clothes. And the last one. We are not going to get up early last Sunday. Aha, uh -huh. they are not going to get up early that Sunday. Question? No question? No, teacher. Okay. No question, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Now, in your manual, you have a couple of exercises, right? That you are going to do. Check. On the next page, activity five. What page is it? 42. 42. Page 42. Yeah. Okay. What you're going to do here, I'm going to send you in pairs. 
well, no, no in groups of three, because sometimes uh, if I send a pair, only one finishes, you finish along. So check all the words that you're going to do. Here, in some cases, you have questions. In others, you have affirmative, and in others, you have negative. But this case, what you're going to do is order the words, right? Now you have to use all the words given, but you have to put them into the correct order to make sentences or questions. Okay? Page 42, exercise three. <clears throat> Voy a reducir un grupo, fíjense, porque me quedan gente solita. De vuelta. Bien. Bye. Let's go. Dejo Sandra Minor y Catherine Bridget in the general. And the others, let's join a group. Okay. I only have a question in, in the second sentence. Uh -huh. Tell me. Um, but for me, uh, you are going to make a reservation for conference room. Mm -hmm. But I, I know sure it is a question. Number two is not a question. Los que son questions no. tienen un question mark. A right? question mark. Sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only the first is question. Only the first has question mark. The others don't. Okay. Sí, sí. Si son questions, le tienen un question mark. Si no tiene question mark, es que es centro. Centro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ya lo encontró, Amanda. En la página 42 está para ordenar las seis cuestiones. Sí. Mm. La primera es jugar. La segunda sería. Order la the words to create sentences and question about schedule activities. When are you going to arrive to Dallas? Esa es la uno. La Me otra es... La dos es La otra es una oración. Eh, sería... Are a reservation... Sería, you are mm -hmm. going to going to um, make Going to make conference room. They come in, they have reservation. Oh, ya me perdí con esa. <laughs> Soy más dormida que despierta. Remember that you have to put the words in order, right? En orden, va. 
Sí. Sí. Ahorita me pongo a hacer la quinta cuadra. And you are uh, uh, going to uh, Sería, you are going to go, uh, going to ahorita perdón. Make you are fish. going to make a reservation for for the conference room así creo que dice ¿no? Se oye bien así, teacher. Está desmadrada. <ríe> grande la oración. ¿no? Sí, es larga. You are going to... Ajá. Bueno, hagamos la otra. Eh, dice, I'm going to, I'm going to, wake up, I'm going to wake up. Wake up call. Ah, uh, ¿Cómo? I'm going to cut. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to wake up call. Mm -hmm. Request. Um, call request. For a fight. Uh, for. Y el for sí. dónde va? For a. Ay, no, no, no. Sería, mire, I'm going to wake up call. Um. Eh... The question. Request, no, 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 el request no. I'm going to wake up call. The question, what I find? I am. I am? Uh-huh. For I a am. request. Yeah. For a request. Tenía, I'm going to wake up call 5 a.m. for a request. Mm. ¿No? Mm -hmm. No sé, a mí me sale como que es, uh, I am going to uh, well, well, uh, call a request for a fight. No, en la lógica del orden de las oraciones. ¿Y qué es lo que necesita primero? Por necesitamos primero el sujeto que es allá. I'm going to wake up for. Segundo, necesitamos el verbo que está allá. I am. Estamos completos. Viva, I'm going to. Um, 
Ya estamos. <laughs> Sería I'm I'm going to wake up call a request for 5 a.m. I'm going to wake up call. Es que wake up call no es verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Request. Exactly. I'm going to request. I'm going to request. Oh, well, uh, of course. I'm going to. I'm going to request. I'm going to request. For wake up call 5 a.m. To request K. Wake up call. Uh -huh. I'm going to request a wake up call. For uh, 5. I'm going to request. Ahí les hace falta una palabrita. For going to for for wake up call, I'm going to request for wake up call. Uh -huh, for a wake up call. Y el a, a dónde vamos a poner? A wake up. Five a. a a wake up call. For a wake up. I'm going to, I'm going to request for a wake up. For a wake up call 5 a.m. Exactly. El otro sería... Mr. Turcios, Miss Turcios, he is Miss. going to check out That's tomorrow. Tomorrow. El otro dice, oh, confesa. We finish, teacher. Ya vino la teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> finish. Bien. Yeah. Después de terminar el tercer examen, ¿qué procede? ¿Ya terminó el examen final? Sí. Esperar nada más. Sí. Ah, bueno. Ah, bueno. Sí, sí. Sí, sí, como ya, ya, no me dejo darle, ya no me dejo hacer lo siguiente. Ya, <risa> ya, puede, ya puede quedarse tranquilo. Y este, yo voy a verificar mañana. Voy a revisar. ¿Verdad? Mm. Cualquier cosa, si les falta algo, ahí les voy a decir. 
Ok, ok, ok. Mañana abre como no, si sí, deben saber cómo están. Muy bien. Ok. Bueno, you finish, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Ok, nice. Just checking one last group and then I call you. Muy Hi, hi. Finished, chicos. Yes, teacher. Yes. Let's go again. Ok, vamos a ver, checking. Checking, checking. A ver, a ver. Who will be my first volunteer? Well, I'm going to share the symptoms as me. And who wants to chair? The first one is done. When are you going to write Dallas? Next. You are going to make a reservation for conference room. You. Mm, that's okay. This, 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 this. You. You are going to. You are going you are going to? To make, to make a reservation for the conference, conference room for that. Mm -hmm. You are going to make a reservation for the company, for the conference room, thanks. What about number three? I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Okay, by a check, I'm, we said I'm going to, I'm. Uh, I'm going to going to mm -hmm. request request. I'm going to request a wake up call. A wake up call for five a.m. Mm. You have to change something. I'm going to request a state movie. I'm going to request for wake up call. I'm going to request for. A wake up call. I'm going to request a wake up call. I'm going to request for a 5 a.m. wake up call. Uh -huh. And number four. Mr. Tur Mr. Turcios Mr. Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Going to check out tomorrow. Oh, me, me el going to. Mr. Turcios 
Turcios is going to check out tomorrow night. Number five. Maintains team is going to attend the conference on October 10th. Hmm. Okay, maintenance team. Maintenance team is going to attend. Ah, no. He's going to attend. He's going to attend. The conference on October 10th. No. Yes. Falta el A, A. Sería de, de maintenance team. Sí, tenemos que correr todo. Exactly. The, main time, the maintenance team. Este. Uh -huh. The maintenance team. Is. Yes. Going to mm -hmm. attempt fourteen a a conference conference uh -huh. on October tenth. On October tenth. Nice, nice, nice. Number six. What about number six? Miss Diaz. Mm -hmm. Is going to need mm -hmm. a non smoking room. Yes. Miss Diaz is going to need a non-smoking room. Wait. Wait. Any questions here? No questions? No, teacher. Is the Well, I have some more sentences for you, but we will do them together here. Just help me complete. Remember? We're talking about future, so we're going to be using going to and the verb in parentheses. Okay, he. He's going, he going, going to. Going to. Phone. He's going to. Hmm. De la copia. He's going to find his friend. Number two. We, we are, we are, we are, we are going, going, to, going to, to play. To, we are play. going play. to play. A new computer. play. Going to play. We are going to play a new computer game. Okay. Three, my sister. Ya es parecido a él y anda mismo para allá. Es que es más pálido. Es going to Silvia está con nosotros. Yes, teacher. Okay. Este lo oí hablando de pálidos por ahí. Vaya, my sister is going to Going, going to watch TV. Going, my sister is going, going to, to watch. watch. Mm -hmm. My sister is going to watch TV. Ya vieron, ¿verdad? Vaya, number four. 
you are, you are going, going to, going to have, have a picnic next you're going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Number five. Jane is Jane is the office to the office. teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. The four is you are going to have the have. Uh, Not to the have, no. You are going to have. Have. Uh, You're going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Number five. Can is going to, going to go to go the office. To the office. Mm -hmm. Jane is going to go to the office. Number six. They, they are, they are going, going to go to the bus stop this afternoon. Uh -huh. They are going to go to the bus stop this afternoon. Number seven. His brother is He's going, going to write a letter. He's going, going to write a letter to his to uncle. Today. Yes. Number six. She is going she to visit her aunt. aunt. She is going to visit her aunt. Right. Number nine. I'm, I'm going, going to do, do my do homework after, after school. school. Great. And the last one, Sophie and Nick. Are going um, to are, they are going to meet their meet friends. Meet their friends. I'm going to meet their friends. Nice. Any question? Teacher. Yeah. En la prueba eh, me salía la pregunta. You are going to uh, have. Perdón. Uh, uh, have. Y me salía mala. Y así le hemos puesto ahorita. Vaya, eh, lo que estaba comentando por ahí Karen es que no va a poner toda la oración. No, se lo se va a poner. Teacher, are going to have. Específicamente en esa, en esa, en, en esa eh, oración tiene que poner el sujeto. En ese caso tiene que ser you are going to have y, y solo eso. No, Solo en esa teacher y el yo la única que mayúscula la la y. Sí, cheque. Yo la puse de diferentes formas y no me dio. Pero esto, así póngalo así. Sí, sí. Are eh, going to... eh, hay que poner ahí el sujeto en esta eh, solo en esta oración. Es sí, cierto, solo se dale correcto. Solo en esa. Por eso cuando yo la ponía, me parecía que estaba malo porque solo ponía eh, are going to have that. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces chequen si ahí en ese caso le está pidiendo el, el sujeto. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, porque en algunos casos eso sucede, ¿verdad? Que les piden que escriban el sujeto, en otros casos solamente las palabras que faltan y a veces les piden la oración completa. Ya checó, ya, ya le sale, Silvia. Hoy sí. Ya está la. Este chat, ya este chat. Ok, perfecto. Ok, bueno. Any questions? Any questions here? No? No questions. No. I'm going to call the last attendance. Let's see. Amanda Yesenia. Present. Carlos Alfredo. Presente. Cecilia del Carmen. Presente, Chen. César. Presente. Claudia Ivon. Presente, Chen. Jacob Nogía, Jonathan. Presente, Chen. José Daniel. Eh, Juan Antonio. Present. 
from garden setting Carla Catherine Bridget Tony Marco Aynore de Nilsson Present Sandra Elizabeth Present Silvia Estela Present Silvia Inés Present Present Tatiana Present. Tatiana Catherine Beatriz Present teacher okay. Eh, Sandra ya se quedó la vez pasada. No sé. Silvia Estela. Yes. ¿Verdad que sí, Sandra? Yes. Ok. Teacher, aquí estoy. Ok. Bye. Eh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. See you. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Teacher, me llamó. Es que fíjese que se me, me quedó como trabado el, el celular. Y la, la, la attendance. Sí, teacher. Sí. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. You're welcome. Good night. Good night.